Welcome back to uh, Central Valley Business. I'm your host today, Mike Briggs, and we are here to uh, talk to different business people here in the Central Valley. Uh, people are doing good. You know what we do here at Central Valley Talk? We celebrate what's good about Fresno, and we try to find good businesses, good events, uh, good services going on. And I had some questions about uh, insurance, homeowners, car insurance, all kinds of insurance. So we asked my friend Nick Meggs to come in with uh, Goosehead Insurance. Yes, sir. And what's Goosehead Insurance? Is that your agency or is so, it a big national company like the one with the little lizard or something? <laughs> yeah, so a little bit of both, actually. Mm-hmm. So uh, I am technically a franchisee. Um, Goosehead, oh, oh, Goosehead is okay. correct. Yeah. Um, so I own this particular business. Um, all my clients are my clients. Okay. Um, I just have an arrangement with Goosehead where they help with um, some of the back end type stuff to make okay. my life a little bit easier. Right. Um, they are a national company. I, I think Goosehead is in something like 43 states at this point. It'll be all 50 states before too much longer. Um, state of origin was Texas, so they're really, really well known in Texas. Um, mm-hmm. In California, they've only expanded out here because California is such a tricky state when mm-hmm. it comes to insurance to get licensed and appointed in. Um, this was one of the later states that they kind of expanded okay. to. So but they're going to be big out here, I bet. Yeah, correct. Um, in Los Angeles, there's already quite a few, and they're kind of spreading north. So they started in SoCal. Nice. Now, um, where's your office? So I'm actually over off of what they call Real Estate Row. Um, so on Ingram, uh, between Alluvial and uh, Knees. Yeah, in the Tower District, you call that the High Rent District. I there you go. Yeah. Not, I don't go. I, I rarely go to a my insurance guy's office anyway. Right. And we do something over the phone or text or, or exactly. something like that. So you could be anywhere. Now, who needs you? Who needs your service? Uh, you know what I. Uh, it sounds a little bit glib, but what I always say is, uh, if you live anywhere and you drive anything, then Thank I can you. probably help you out. I always think about, well, homeowners insurance, you do that. Sure. I always think of, you know, that's the, the main insurance, but if you rent, you should be getting insurance too, huh? Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that renter's insurance is a thing or don't know exactly how it works. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a lot of my clients are surprised when they move into quite a few um, either property management companies around town or specific apartment complexes actually require renter's insurance. Oh, they do. Okay, good. Yeah, and the primary reason for that is the personal liability piece of your renter's insurance not only protects you if you are sued by somebody right if they say mm-hmm. hey um, you know you did something you were negligent and that led to a personal injury to me right. and can sue you for that but if you do something negligent that leads to damage to the premises that are rented to you mm-hmm. your personal liability segment will actually come in there as well so that's why property management companies care is if you do something silly and burn the house down and they sue burn, you for burn that down your rental your you, don't just walk, you don't get to say it's not mine and just walk away from that you're on right. the hook for that so. yep and your renter's insurance with most companies at least is going to step in and say hey yeah we know they did something dumb but they paid us Eleven dollars a month, so we got their back for the two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of damage. And a lot of us don't think about that because most of us have um, uh, uh, homeowners insurance. Right, and we're not renters, or I guess maybe over half the world is renters, and we don't think about it. But I get insurance on my house because if somebody gets hurt, I'm not doing dangerous things here, but people fall right. down or fall in my swimming pool or something like that. And, yeah, absolutely. And, and so the insurance covers stuff like that. Then. Correct. Yeah, that would be the personal liability segment. So really, that's going to apply. Um, and a lot of folks don't know this, essentially, unless you're in a situation where another liability policy is in place. So a good example is in a car, right? Like your automobile insurance has liability. So at that point, if you're driving your vehicle and you damage something or you injure somebody, that's where that liability section is going to take place. But if you are just around town and you do something somehow that leads to injury to somebody, your uh, homeowner's insurance or your renter's insurance personal liability coverage goes with you. It's not okay. just on your property. Okay. Now, um, and I know you came here because you want to say some things, but I have a million questions. And no, please. I finally got an insurance guy here I can ask <laughs> questions to. Who of our viewers should be calling you right now? Just people who don't have insurance yet or people who are just buying a house? or Yeah. So, you know, the way my business is set up uh, now after I made the change to Goosehead because I was with a, a different company previously and kind of wanted to um, – reinvent what my business operations look like. What I really focus on at this point is new home buyers. So a lot of the folks that I work with are like your loan officer, right? So you'll be um, acquiring a new home or you'll be doing a refinance and they'll basically take a look at it and go, hey, why don't we refer this over to Nick and he'll take a look at it. Now, that being said, um, really, I can work with anybody. Um, I handle auto insurance, earthquake, flood, homeowners insurance, renters, personal umbrella, life insurance. I do business insurance as well. So I always let folks know, hey, if you reach out to me, even if you're, I mean, obviously, if you're perfectly happy, hey, not a problem. But if you reach out to me and you say, hey, I have some questions, I'm not necessarily looking to make a change, but I just want to make sure that everything is Mm -hmm. in a good place, I can take a look at it and let you know. 
I think you're covered. I do that all the time. I'll review. You do it for free. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't have any yeah. broker fees or anything like that. I'll take a look and I'll say, Hey, I've got a couple questions for you. You know, what does your current situation look like as far as, you know, do you have some high value items, kind of what's going on with your life, some general questions. And then I'll take a look at your portfolio. And frequently I'll tell people, Hey, I think you're in a great place. So unless your agent does something that you really disagree with yeah. coverage wise, you're fine. Stay there. Um, if well, there are there not agents who kind of push into things you don't need and we don't know anything about insurance so we're paying higher that's why i like to show it to some people sometimes sure a, another agent like you and to say what do you think yeah and you know i mean i think it's like a lot of industries right i mean uh, particularly any sales industries there are going to be folks that kind of run the whole gamut there are going to be folks that are i think pretty altruistic about it and they really look at a hey, client first and we want to do and that's most people in my industry i think um and then you know you will have some folks that are um you know, kind of looking at the commission first, right? Yeah. They go, hey, cool, this policy is an extra 13 bucks in my pocket, like whether you need it or not. Or, um, you know, they might have quotas that they have to meet for the month. Um, I think that's rare. But um, yeah, I, I encourage just like, uh, I mean, if you have a medical condition, right? I think it's always great to have a second opinion, just another sure. set of eyes, because there are certain people that they'll look at the same situation and they might give you two different answers. You know, some folks might say, hey, in my personal experience, because of the interactions I've had with my clients or the claims background that I've seen, I think we should go this way. Some folks might advise you to go a completely different way, and then obviously it's up to you to make that choice. But I don't think it's ever a bad idea to have somebody else look at your stuff. Well, we were talking about before we went on the air, and I don't even know what my homeowner's insurance is. I don't <laughs> even know who my agent is. Yeah. And I got this crazy car insurance, buy the mile car insurance. So I should just let you look at it. And, you know, like I said, I don't drive very much, but sure. I don't know if I have the kind of uh, thing that if I hit somebody and hurt somebody, can they come take my house? You know, I, right. I don't know. You know, so I, it's free to find out. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, with Nick Mix, it's free um, to find out. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good slogan. We might go with that. But uh, yeah, basically what I do is, like I said, I'll kind of pull the policy up, just mm -hmm. take a look. There are some things right away that I might say, okay, if I see this, I know that's a red flag. I need to get some, mm -hmm. some more information. And occasionally I'll take a look at something and say, hey, this isn't how I would set it up. And I ask the client, and they have a really good reason for it. Mm -hmm. Like maybe their liability limits are low because almost all their belongings are in a family trust or mm -hmm. something like that. So they're not really concerned about it because you might sue them and they go, hey, I don't really have anything for you to take. I don't know anything, right? Yeah. So, um, well, you've answered my questions well, but you, you got invited to say anything you want. So <laughs> I'm just want to see, uh, what do you want our viewers to know? Yeah. So, um, I mean, obviously I, I think you touched on a lot of the big points that I was going to bring up. Like there's, I don't think there's ever a bad time to review your insurance. Obviously there are some really great times. Anytime there's a major life change, right? So if you're buying a house, if you get a new vehicle, if you have kids, if you retire, if you get a promotion, anything like that, where your financial picture is going to shift, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Because I mean, honestly, it probably takes 10, 15 minutes for me to do at least a, a cursory mm -hmm. run through and give you an idea of, Hey, I think you're in a really good place or, you know, what else is going on with this picture? Is there something I'm not aware of? Okay, then I can make some recommendations. Um, and frequently my recommendations are even, hey, stay with the agency that you're at, but just ask them if this is something they can amend for your policy. Um, now, do you have uh, life insurance? Yes, I do. When somebody has, you said a life change, if you have a baby or something, you should talk and just yeah. get, get some ideas. What about college? Uh, is there a college fund or? Yeah, so there are a few different ways you can approach that. Um, I generally... Once it gets into something a little bit more complicated, so I have a background in financial planning. Um, I had some more licenses that I have since let lapse because it's just not my focus anymore. And what I always tell people is, I, I mean, I don't know that expert is the word that I, I kind of shy away from that, uh, but I'm pretty well versed in um, like property insurance, casualty insurance. That's really kind of my main focus. Once it gets into something like, hey, we really want to sit down and do a more complete evaluation of like your retirement plan, we want to look at college funding, things like that. I have some folks that I work with okay. that I trust, and I normally refer my clients to them because I basically say, hey, I can do it, but it is not really my primary yeah, area of expertise. Okay. And you know, I don't want to do anybody a disservice. I would sure. rather you work with somebody that I'm completely comfortable Especially with. Especially for a lifelong thing. That's exactly yeah. it, right? Is you know, not that it's not a big deal if you make a mistake on your car insurance, but like, hey, if you don't like it a month from now, you just change companies, right. right? If you, you know, get three or four years into a college savings plan or something like that, that's a little bit harder to back out of yeah. without losing anything. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I normally just draw the line and let my clients know, hey, I'm going to put you with somebody that I trust that I know is going to do a good job. They've done a good job for dozens of my mm -hmm. clients, and I can kind of necessitate that and, and facilitate that transaction for you. Well, the reason like the reason we like to have people like you on is because you're very credible. You come across <laughs> on the screen very credible. Well, so thank you. I recommend you call Nick. You got my recommendation. If you have insurance, thank you so much. Just call him. Have him look at it. How do they yeah. reach you? Where, where do they start? Yeah. So um, my website uh, just www.nickmegs.com. Just my name. Tell uh, them how to spell it because it's hard. Yeah. Uh, so Nick is pretty easy. Um, if you get that wrong, I can't help you with that. Uh, Megs just M as in Michael E I G S. 
Give me that, um, yeah. So my email address is just my first and last name, so nick.megs at goosehead, just like it sounds, dot com. Um, you can also give me a call anytime, uh, either at my office, which will ring straight through to my cell phone or my personal cell phone. I think both of those numbers are up on the screen. So yeah. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, I work a lot, so uh, pretty much, honestly, if you call me anytime, I'm going to answer the phone. So If you're thinking about insurance or switching two weeks from now and you think, man, I wish I wrote that number down. I didn't know I was going to need insurance. Call me. I'll keep Nick's number right on my desk. I'll give well, you his you so direct much, phone number and you can call him up and get some information. And Goosehead Insurance, wouldn't Goosehead be more fun than some of those other things that funny names they have for insurance agents? I'm I not going to so. make fun I of like anybody it. else. <laughs> <laughs> Goosehead Insurance, Nick Meggs. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. We'll Thanks, be Mike. back with more Central Valley business right after this.